First half of this episode is a 100 sub special, we're hitting Orca 1000 times, and second half continues the story in a very important point, so please don't skip this episode. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Impressive, Jack. I lost count of how many times you struck me. You have learned all I have to teach, Master Jack. Master, it is not much to speak of, but please, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. How pleasant. My arm feels numb. Master, is your left index finger not numb as well? So yeah, that's the reward you get for uh, hitting Orca 1,000 times, 200 rupees, and Orca breaking the fourth wall, which is really what I think everyone would consider to be the more worthwhile prize there. Uh, you can find 200 rupees just about anywhere in this ocean. Um, so yeah, that's definitely not an easy thing to do, uh, hitting Orca 1,000 times. Most people will tell you that it's completely not worth it. I, for one, don't ever want to do it again. But I'm glad that I managed to get it recorded, and actually what's more interesting about it is that we actually, we didn't get hit once the whole time, which I only kind of realized now, looking back, uh, after it's over. Um, I wasn't really thinking about it at the time, but I guess that it just went so well that it wasn't a problem. Um, yeah, another tip I have about Orca, if you do want to attempt that, one thing that's important to remember is um, he does get a little bit tougher as the fight goes on. It can get tougher uh, to land multiple hits on him at certain points. He'll really just start blocking combos of more than four. Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the caver on the backside of that island where Jabun is said to hide. 
So as you saw earlier, we were just dropping by Beetle's shop ship to uh, replenish on some supplies. Uh, mainly we were just making sure to get more bait and pears and stuff. But it's also important to have plenty of bombs for what you're doing here. After all, uh, we needed the bombs so that we could get past a certain obstacle the pirates couldn't get past on Outside Island. And that obstacle is both a stone wall and a whirlpool. So, the whirlpool is like a timed kind of thing. If you take too long, it's going to drag you to the center. It's the same thing used for big octo battles. Only there's no big octo here. Instead, the target is that giant stone slab. It's going to be very difficult to hit that thing from a distance. So just make sure to arc your, uh, get the cannon's line of fire aimed first at the top. Because you need to hit each section three times, starting from the top to the middle to the bottom. No other combination works, so... Okay, there we go. There it goes to the top. Now for the middle, hopefully we can... It would be great if we could get it done in one segment. There's the middle, probably. Yeah, there we go. So that just leaves the bottom piece. Hopefully we can hit it before we're too far away. Oh, that was awesome. Now we don't have to watch... Now we didn't have to wait for another rotation. Because if you have... Because at a certain point, you're just not going to be able to hit it um, from such a far distance. But fortunately, we did it in one cycle really quickly. And now you're going to get to see who Jaboon is in a very strange cutscene that I'm not going to translate because there is some spoilerish stuff in the language that Jaboon speaks. This is the only time you ever see him. He's like a giant anglerfish. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. And now, we're actually going to receive the third pearl just like that. We don't even have to go through a dungeon. That's left a lot of people wondering if there was originally a dungeon that was designed around this uh, pearl, like the other two, but it was cut out of the final version of the game. It's quite possible. Because there are some uh, islands and stuff that just seem so barren that they might have originally had like an extra dungeon on them in an earlier cut of the game or something. So... That foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. There are some complaints about, like, there not being enough dungeons at certain points in the game, so... You be the judge, I guess. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us. So morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Jack? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your seed chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll be heading towards a brand new island. So, see you then.